What does it mean in the ten that we receive mad? If we are reach, if together we reach some connection, which is called a kli, so we feel that there's mad, that there is a clear mutual awareness feeling that is called mud. It's under the condition that we have raised the correct prayer, but we were connected to the prayer. And now after we r rose the prayer up, we have to connect also to receive the mud. And it's a different kind of connection. It's a different kind to demand together, to cry out. That is relatively easy. But to receive, to receive means that what I receive from above is for me reception from above. It's above me. It's whatever happens, it's from the upper one. For sure, I get it to begin with in a way that it's from the upper one. Whether it feel good, it suits me or it doesn't, I need to be connected in such a way that this mud can be accepted in me. That I'll resemble the light that comes down. To raise a deficiency isn't like receiving fulfillment. Receiving fulfillment, I don't know how to explain it. It's to be, first of all, it's a null towards the upper one, no matter what I accept. It's complete annulment. That's one thing. Annulment with a promise that what I receive, I'm willing, able, will be able to implement. That's it to receive from the upper one guidance, forces, everything, and to be the one who implements. That's it, that he will be clothed in me. What does it mean to receive mud? The upper one is clothed in me, in my desire, in my mind. Imagine something is clothed in me and I want it to clothe in me and manage me from this moment on a new wind new spirit new direction new observation new mind new approach I want it to be in such a way to clothe in me and go in this way what does he do? He pushes me towards connection, towards its advancement, towards dissemination. What Kabbalists want to the formulation of the shattered vessel of Adam Rishon. I want him to control me, that I won't have anything of myself, everything from him. That's called to prepare myself for mud.